Hey, it's Damon from Let'sTiki.com. A couple weeks ago I showed you how to make your own spiced rum. Well, my bottle has sat on the counter for a couple weeks now, and every day I gave it a few turns. So now it's time to give it a try. So what I'm going to do is first pour it carefully into a pitcher. And then I'm going to remove everything from the bottle. And then using a funnel and a coffee filter, I will pour the rum back into the bottle. And that will prevent any sediment and other pieces from the spices to get back into the bottle. So while I do that, have a cocktail, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so I got rid of all the spices out of the bottle, and then I rinsed it out good with some water and took care to get as much water out of the bottle as possible. I don't want to dilute my rum. So now I'm going to use a funnel, the coffee filter, and I'm going to slowly pour the rum back into the bottle. And let it filter through. I left all the spices in for the full two weeks except for the cinnamon. The cinnamon is really powerful, so after a couple of days I took that out because it started to become overwhelming. So as I pour this through, have another sip of your cocktail and I'll check back in once I have it done. So to try out the spice drum, I'm going to make just a plain old daiquiri. Uh, what you need for that is two cups of crushed ice in your cocktail shaker, one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, two ounces of the new spice drum, and then a half ounce of simple syrup. And then shake that all up. And then you want to pour that into a chilled glass. Got my glass that's already been chilled in the freezer. And we'll just drain that in. It's a lot of ice in there, so you have to shake it up a little bit to get it all out. And there's our daiquiri. First thing I can taste right away is the cinnamon. I think I left the cinnamon in there a little bit too long. Um, I had it in there for about three days and probably one, maybe two days would have been enough. I can also taste the vanilla along with it. It adds a nice addition to the rum. And you can taste a little bit of the allspice pepper and the clove. It tastes pretty good. Maybe it's just a little strong on the cinnamon. So enjoy making your own spice rum. Mahalo!